There are numerous possibilities when it comes to what you picture when you hear the phrase, vehicle of the future. Our selection begins with a concept from an American design studio. The concept's highlights include a technology that enables the driver to pair with the car using a special connector, after which the technology reads the driver's preferences and offers them new driving options. Even in older films like The Fifth Element, directors have shown their vision of the future. For example, a three-dimensional hologram that serves as the dashboard and can be changed to suit your tastes lets the driver control the car by touching it. Also, the driver's capsule can be connected to other vehicles, like a buggy or airplane. This idea was presented at the 2011 Michelin Design Challenge Showcase. It appeared because the riders wanted to demonstrate that there is still opportunity for advancement in electric vehicles. So this is not just a vehicle, but also a purifying station. According to UN statistics, more than 90% of people on Earth will be breathing air that is more polluted than average by 2021. So the concept is still very relevant, even though it has been around for more than 10 years. The design is also intriguing. It resembles insects, and the position of the car's legs changes depending on the driving mode. If you believe that these cars will eventually be on the roads, the concept automobile is approximately 13 feet long and 5 feet wide. Space tourism has already been discussed. Virgin Galactic, for instance, charges $450,000 for space travel. Too costly for you? Afterward, you may pay the organization Worldview $50,000 and benefit from even more intriguing features. No, it's a cool feature because the capsules will be launched from the Grand Canyon, the Great Barrier Reef, and other beautiful places. The capsule has a capacity for eight tourists and two crew members, and its ascent altitude is approximately 100,000 feet. The capsule with the space tourists goes up on a helium balloon, so it takes much longer to fly than Virgin Galactic. The crew openly acknowledges that this is more of a trip through the stratosphere than a space voyage, but it is less expensive, and the first launch pads are expected to be operational as early as 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more juicy tech. ArtStation is a platform for sharing and discovering the works of illustrators, designers, and artists. It also functions as a gallery. As today's selection is about solutions of the future, you could also refer to ArtStation as a museum of digital art. We want to show you an unusual vehicle from a Slovakian designer, because his concepts combine streamlined designs and uncommon solutions. This model would have a 120 horsepower engine and a top speed of 140 miles per hour. A yacht running on hydrogen can be seen here. An assessment says that this idea, which can handle waves as high as 11.5 feet, is meant to make transportation more effective and less harmful to the environment. It can accommodate six passengers and has a top speed of roughly 249 kilometers per hour. It is 120 feet long and has multiple operating modes. It has the ability to sail like a regular ship and fly like a ground effect vehicle. According to the author, the concept brings the convenience of an airline and the livability of a ship together with the appeal of a supercar to water experiences. Where would people live if there was life on Mars? The Martian Habitat Project's creators provide an explanation for this. It was developed as part of a NASA competition to identify innovative concepts for a Martian home using 3D printing technology, and the experts liked it so much that it made it into the top 10. The concept behind the Mars home is to send robots to the planet first, using Martian regolith to create an outer shell. When people finally get there, they will use flexible, inflatable shells to build places to live and work. Thoughts of colonizing Mars may seem like science fiction, but they have been discussed for a very long time. By 2029, Elon Musk desires to arrive there. The Comac Arch-21 is the first jet airliner designed entirely in China. The goal was to make an airplane that could carry between 75 and 100 people on regional flights, and the designers achieved it. Today, the leading Chinese carrier Air China flies the Arch-21. This customized Arch-21 even took home the International Red Dot Design Award. It's a medical aircraft with modular equipment that makes it simple to adapt for various functions. The built-in operating system shows patient data and the lighting and color scheme are chosen to make the patient feel at ease and confident in the professionalism of the rescue. Another masterpiece by Lazzarini Design, this enormous floating structure is larger than the Colosseum, 
and is capable of holding up to 60,000 people. There are lodgings. Gardens, businesses, and even airports, as well as the site itself, are built to be as big as possible. Turtle is 1,804 feet long and 2,001 feet wide. It is powered by nine 16,800 horsepower HTS electric motors, and its expected cruising speed is 5.8 miles per hour. The turtle spins are there for a reason. They help capture the energy of the waves. If it were built today, it would be the largest structure on Earth. The writers urge everyone to invest in the project, but it will take around eight years to build and they need to raise about $8 billion. Lack of energy is a major issue in many nations. For instance, in France, fewer trains may run during the winter and some public buildings may be kept cooler. French experts are working diligently on new energy solutions and they are making some progress. On the screen, you can see a French mixed energy system that combines wind and solar power. The system is virtually silent and under ideal conditions produces up to 140 megawatts. Here is an interesting idea from Lazzarini Design, which, as our regular viewers know, also comes up with ideas for the aerospace industry. As a result, we have a miniature flying saucer in our video today. The designers offer us an electric vehicle for vertical takeoff and landing with a top speed of about 120 miles per hour. The cabin is 6.6 .6 feet in diameter and you can fly for about an hour in an emergency. The passenger pod separates from the hull and glides down on parachutes, and according to some reviews, the studio was influenced by the X-Files. It is called the Identified Flying Object. You may have heard of Elon Musk's Hyperloop, a system of pods that can travel faster than high-speed trains. For instance, 746 miles can be covered in just one hour, bringing the transportation system to a new level. This is how it operates. As it turns out, Elon Musk's ideas are pretty contagious. Inspired by his vision, a group of Dutch students came up with this project. According to them, it's a climate-neutral and scalable transportation system that can reach speeds of over 621 miles per hour. It would be possible to get from Amsterdam to Paris in less than 30 minutes. It sounds great, as fast as an airplane. However, the pods hang on a magnetic cushion and move practically in a vacuum to allow them to reach faster. The layout is suitable. Partners in the system include Siemens, Shell, and HP. And among other things, it is fueled by solar energy. The team behind the following concept from Germany impresses us with its simplicity. They explain that the main goal is to determine how self-sufficient a glass dome and a wind turbine will be. They intend to build a test version to gather data, and then it's possible that this project will eventually be turned into a commercial endeavor. Foldable cell phones are no longer a surprise to the public, but what about a foldable car? The author sums up his idea in just three words, fun, freedom, and style. The Audi Vista concept is exactly that the automobile has no roof and can turn into a sort of segue if necessary, allowing you to enjoy improved maneuverability and riding while standing. Unfortunately, there isn't much space for luggage, but at least you can pick from a variety of colors. The steering was made as simple as possible thanks to a controller that doubles as the steering wheel and the gearbox. The car runs on electricity and adapts to its owner's lifestyle so it's suitable for both daily trips around the city and for going outside of town. Watch the next video for more amazing tech.